What is going on guys? Wilmore's here. We are at the Outer Banks. More on a chilly side of when you would want to come to the beach, but it's actually pretty warm this week after a cold week last week, which is really nice. And you know, it's kind of hard being away from my work. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to enjoy this vacation. And we got here yesterday and it started off great by watching the blowout 40 to seven win for the Commanders against the, uh, the uh, Panthers. Luckily, Jane Daniels is okay. So after that, it was time to come down to the beach. And as soon as I stepped foot on the beach here, it was just like, oh yeah, I needed this vacation. I've been kind of working my little butt off for a while. So it's just nice to kind of relax. Yeah, we got a little private walkway here to the beach. It's gonna be super awesome. Let's get it, let's go. my new phone tripod that also works as like a selfie stick but we don't use selfie sticks anymore but tripod hey oh we got on the beach let's get it probably wondering why my style not here on the beach we're shooting now i'm work for sunglasses which we're a little late on this as the song comes out in uh four days um either had the artwork before then because the pre-save link pre-save link is already out and typically you want the artwork to be there because the artwork is presented with the pre-save link but I knew we were coming to the beach and I was like, I wanted here at the beach. So I said, so I created a temp artwork and we're gonna shoot the rest here at the beautiful Outer Banks. A little muscle shirt action. We're gonna go a little sleeveless shirt action. Cause you know, confidence and body positivity, all that good stuff that we're gonna preach here. I took the band off of the sunglasses cause I am gonna use my Kosas. I'm not gonna be styling because I wanna make sure it's true to who I am but I didn't want to put the, the strap that kind of hangs out the back because that doesn't look great. Funny story. So we're going to come over here, okay? Follow me, follow me class. So right here, I wrote sunglasses. That was earlier, okay? So I wrote that all the way out. Couldn't really write it small, so it kind of didn't work. But it's somewhere over here, I can't tell exactly. I wrote it before I did that one and it was beautiful. It was like the most beautiful thing I've ever done. Of all the songs I've created, of all the videos i made, it was the best thing. And then uh, the water came, the freaking water came, washed it all away, except for three letters, ass. I don't curse anymore, but I mean, that's just how it was. Those were three letters that were left from sunglasses, A-S-S. -S. Well, I didn't get to the E-S yet. So yeah, that was all that was left in the water. And before I could take a video or picture of that, the water came and took that away. So yeah, let's get to shooting this artboard. Let's get it. So can I just say, I'm really not thrilled about the whole wearing long pants by the beach kind of thing. Really not vibing with it. But you gotta do what you gotta do for the art. So we do it. I need to get closer. I feel like I need to get closer to the beach. We do for the art. Yeah, absolutely soaked. The water is cold. In my black jeans and in my, yeah, the sand is everywhere down there. Hopefully we got this to work with and I can get that to the distributor tonight. We got it, hopefully in the can. Please, Lord, let it be in the can. This feels so weird. Not even the feet, it's just the pants. Definitely got a canvas out of here. I feel like even if I don't have the artwork necessarily, I definitely have the canvas. You know, some people call this the Outer Banks. I call it the set of where the sunglasses cover art and lyric video were shot. 
Yeah. Like, that's what this place is known for, right? Like, not like being the Outer Banks. Like, I'm not tripping, right? It worked for Superman, so we should work for me. Take me from reality, so put my sunglasses on. Yeah, guys, we're hang gliding today. I uh, didn't get any footage, unfortunately. Just uh, the little photos that I showed you guys here. But it was actually super fun. The people were super great. Shout out to Captain John, Captain Jason. So shout out to the people over at Causeway Water Sports here, the Outer Banks. Uh, went out to Manio to get on the boat and go around in the sound. And it was so awesome. I did the uh, high one, which is 800 feet of rope, about 400 feet up in the air, which is as high as you can like legally go. And it was actually super sick. Now the first few minutes was like a little nerve wracking. Like you guys know I'm a roller coaster guy, I'm a thrill seeker. But at the end of the day, being hoisted up into the air with just a harness and a rope, you know, at, at first sight, you know, it's a little terrifying. But then you gotta remember, A, you're in a parachute. If something happens to the rope, you're gonna be fine going down. And then two, you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, embrace the moment and just let the nerves calm down. And once that happened, absolutely had a time of my life just seeing like almost so many sites, you know, Jockey's Ridge, Nags Head, Kill Devil Hills, all the way down to Nags Head and some of Manio. It was absolutely beautiful being able to see the sights and it was so peaceful once the wind calmed down. Hope to do it again now that I'm kind of, I've had my rookie experience. So now I know what to expect next time and how it's going to be next time. And I, yeah, highly recommend good parasailing. It really uh, makes you reflect a little bit on life, makes you really just enjoy everything and appreciate everything. And uh, you know, as a short person, I really felt tall. I really felt tall. But it was it was really awesome. Loved every second of it. A little chilly, so I had to put on the overshirt. But uh, absolutely loved it. Make sure to go and do some parasailing when you're down here at the Outer Banks. Let's get it. Let's go. It's incredibly. You can probably tell us incredibly windy here on the beach today. Like. So to film the tripod, so my promotional sunglasses, I literally had to bury the tripod in the sand to get it to stay It's absolutely insane. I think it's like wind gusts of almost like 30 miles per hour out here, which is crazy. But you know, we gotta get this promo stuff done. The song goes out tonight! So we gotta get this promo stuff filmed. I think it is stacking on stuff so we can have stuff for the next several weeks. But uh, you know, what you gotta do, what you gotta, you gotta do, what you gotta do for the art. and Omi's had some fried shrimp and scallops and now we're here at Jeunesse Pier after also getting a dub at Putt-Putt as always because I'm just you know good at Putt-Putt so you know 
But yeah, it's beautiful up here. Was here a couple years ago. It's absolutely beautiful just walking out on this uh, on the pier and just staring at the ocean. guys we're doing a testing here just testing with this new tripod holding the phone except usually when I do my uh, face videos I use the front facing camera but I just kind of want to get an idea of what it's like to use the rear facing camera because obviously that is the better camera of the two so we're just walking back to the beach house and we're gonna just see how it looks let's get it We are here at Jockey's Ridge State Park, where the big dunes are here at the Outer Banks. And uh, we're going up to, sh not only just have a nice little viewing, but we're also going up to shoot the cover art for the compilation album that's coming out at the end of the year. Uh, I think it's gonna be called The Last Couple Years. I was up here a couple years ago, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I tried to watch the sunrise a couple years ago and it was cloudy. So I wouldn't take my chances again today. I watched the sunrise from the beach and it's gonna be the first uh, artwork that I ever shoot shirtless. So that's gonna be cool. beautiful up here ain't it i mean goodness gracious i remember when i came up here a couple years ago i think it came from that way like over that way which was like a lot longer way than this was it's just so beautiful up here you know just like in another vlog that you guys will see at some point um i talk about finding the serenity and finding it here is just amazing i think we'll go up there shoot some more stuff wow. and there's no one else up here I've got the dunes all to myself and couldn't go this trip without coming up here that's really beautiful it's amazing let's get it have it to myself anymore i think they're probably gonna go to the more popular one hopefully they don't go to that one that overlooks the ocean i'm going to this one which overlooks the sound so hopefully they don't follow me to this one fingers crossed they don't but if they do they do and we just work around it that's what we do in the filming business we work around our surroundings Some higher dunes over there that we're gonna go up on, but there's some people up there, so I won't disturb them. 
with my work. And then there's the beautiful sound over there where I was parasailing the other day. Absolutely beautiful. Like, Jockey's Ridge, like, it looks so tiny from, like, where I was 800, no, not 800, 400 feet up in the air. He's 800 feet of rope. But 400 feet up in the air, everything looks so tiny. Seeing the sound from here, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Also, guys, I want to talk about last night, we went to this haunted uh, event, kind of haunted trail, haunted house type thing called Wicked Woods. Uh, it's really cool. I really loved it. They didn't allow me to film inside. I asked. They didn't want me to. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not one of those that will like try to sneakily film it. So I didn't. But let me just tell you guys, it was absolutely fantastic. The actors were. You could really tell they're enjoying themselves. The layout was fantastic. It's. You know, I don't get jump scared at all or easily. Like you might be able to get me every now and then, but. It does a it does a fantastic job of disorienting you, where even if you're not scared, you don't know exactly where you're supposed to go. And, but the actors, you know, do a great job of kind of leading you in the direction you need to go. See, the costumes are great. The makeup was great. The set dressing was great. And so, if you guys have a chance during the haunted season here in Outer Banks to go to Wicked Woods, I think they're done for this year by the time you're watching this. But I'd highly recommend go experience it for yourself. It is fantastic. You'll love it. Tell them who more sent you. They don't know me, but you know, want to get the name around. Wrapping up the time here at uh, Jockey's Ridge. Was here for about an hour and a half. Got some great footage. Obviously, the views have been absolutely amazing and sick. Oh no, dropped my shoe. Found a lot of stuff for sunglasses because sunglasses just came out yesterday. So. Yeah, why not film stuff here on top of the dunes for sunglasses to have more coverage. I filmed and head back to the house. But yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed this section here at uh, Jockey's Ridge. I know I did. Look at that. Look at those sights. Look at those sights. Hey, oh, sand. Sand everywhere. It's like I'm on a set of dune. It's amazing. I had to do a tripod at full extension one time. Just, just for the one time. You don't get this in Southern Virginia, that's for sure. <sighs> Gonna miss the beach. This is a well needed vacation, well needed rest. Adios to my room. I picked this room because I had a beautiful, can't really see it because it doesn't smart on the window, beautiful view of the ocean and the sun would open, would break right over there and you can see the sunrise every morning before going to the gym. What's up guys? It is Sunday morning. We're leaving like in two hours, but uh, yes, yeah, sunrise over there listening to the little tunes while also listening to the waves. It's sad to leave. I'm excited to get back and get back to work. I feel re-energized, rejuvenated, and just excited to get back to work. But also, the beach has been so relaxing. It was a much needed vacation. Didn't know how much I needed it until I got here. And I'm just so thankful that I was able to come down here for this whole week and schedule work and everything. But uh, I hope you guys Enjoy this fog here at the Outer Banks. I had just the time of my life for this week just to relax and chill. I was also trying a lot of new things, which is really fun. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Make sure that bell button down below so find every single time I'm providing a video to the channel. Make sure to go stream my new song, Sunglasses, wherever you listen to your music. Make sure to go join the Patreon. My name is Morrison. I'm out. Peace. Gonna miss this place. Gonna miss it. Shout out to Forbes Fever for an amazing cottage, an amazing area, awesome access to the beach. The house was awesome, the amenities were great. So shout out to y'all. Fantastic cottage y'all got here. Hope to be back one day. I know I'll see you in passing. No one to be distracted. Put my sunglasses on and the man you knew is gone.